IBM, um, Z16, Z16. Now, again, for everyone, there's a cycle within IBM. Um, it, this is an important cycle for its mainframe. And by the way, you wrote a really great article that, would you say the mainframe's dead? No, no, no. You said the mainframe's not dead. There we go. I know. You know, I'm an industry analyst, but, you know, unlike industry analysts, we're, you know, so proud of our content. We don't put it behind a firewall. And yeah, so I write on Forbes and you got to have some sort of a splashy uh, a headline. And my headline was IBM Z16. The mainframe is dead. Long live the mainframe. Listen, I, I got up front and personal in my first job with an IBM System 360 back in 1990 when I was at NCR. There were two big players in, in financial accounts. It was NCR and it was IBM. Uh, NCR had the edge and IBM had the big mainframe and the AS400. So I've been in and around these mainframes for I guess going on 31 years here. And I, like many, thought that the mainframe was going to die and was a colossal waste of money, I admit. But six years ago, I had a, uh, a change, uh, did a lot of research, visited the Z folks in, in New York and realized, wow, <clears throat> consumption is skyrocketing on mainframes. You, It's hard for you to do a credit card transaction anywhere on the planet that doesn't go through uh, a Z. It's hard to do a retail transaction that doesn't go through uh, a, a Z. Uh, it's hard uh, to name uh, a bank that doesn't have a Z or a retail. And why is that? Well, it is a transaction engine. It is a transaction engine that does it quicker, more reliably, and safer than any other platform out there. And I'm very careful with my words. I mean, like you, I research all the IaaS folks. I research all, of, but, but there's a reason that it keeps on going. Now, it's not like they did a fire and forget. Z16 is updated for modern workloads. And I would say the, the big, um, the big points here are um, doing inference inside of the Z. So typically, if you were doing machine learning, uh, you would do the transaction. Uh, you would do what we call ETL, mainframe guys, ETL out to another system, maybe an x86 system um, with, uh, you know, either doing inference on the processor or, you know, a small uh, NVIDIA GPU card, right? But now you can do real-time inference. Well, what does that mean? Well, you can do credit scoring. You can do credit risk at the point of transaction as opposed to having another uh, system uh, do this. I'm gonna follow up with some more workloads on what you what inference means uh, for the mainframe, but I thought that was uh, very uh, interesting. You know, along with that, bigger, better, faster processor, the Tellum, uh, processor uh, improved performance per watt using less energy. Uh, I did want to talk about one thing and just remind people: uh, Z is very much a modern platform, a cloud platform. You might be laughing right now, but here are the facts: you can it runs Linux, uh, it runs Red Hat Linux. Okay, that's optimized for uh, the platform. And it runs Red Hat containers. Surprise. So uh, by the definition of cloud, uh, which is scalable resources, um, typically Linux and using containers, you can do all of that on the IBM Z. And now you can do inference at the point of a transaction. The final thing I'll mention um, is, is that it also supports <coughs> quantum, uh, quantum safe crypto cryptography. Jeez, it is early here. Um, and what does that mean? So, in the future, you're going to have um, different algorithms uh, done by faster traditional computing systems, but also by quantum computers, and essentially. Um, the new Z16 is uh, quantum proof in that those new future algorithms, you are safe uh, 
and you can be protected from all of that. So, by the way, I, I need to do a little bit more research on how that's possible because it's like, well, how do you know what's going to happen in five years? Uh, but anyways, very rarely, if ever, does IBM make a claim on Z16 that isn't backed by an incredible amount of thought and research. Great dive. Um, I'm going to add a couple of thoughts and keep us moving. But uh, first of all, you know, a big moment for IBM uh, on the financial level, something to think about, too, is they do these launches of their Zs every eight to 10 quarters. Um, the last one was done in September of 2019. There tends to be an upgrade cycle that's pretty significant. And in the wake of the spinoff of Kindrel, it's going to be more significant to the overall revenue number because that particular portion of the revenue has been locked off. So the, the impact of a, of a Z cycle, it's a very high margin part of the business. There's been quarters where the system's business is legitimately carried by the Z cycle and the profitability of the Z. This is a product that the people who buy it, uh, to your point, Pat, absolutely know it is the option, the only option, and they've stuck with this particular technology for a long, long time. And despite all of the innovation that's gone on in cloud, um, they for, usually it's highly regulated industries and special type of transacting businesses that this is the only option. Um, you know, I'm going to share a link in the show notes. Uh, our mainframe analyst, Steve Dickens, did a deep dive and he basically broke in, broke down. He went through the 80 page red book and broke down the entire uh, mainframe um, Z16 announcement. You know, and, and he found Pat pretty much the same things you did. The on-chip integrated accelerator is a big deal. Um, it's going to make a big difference for people that are, in, you know, it's one of, one of the most compelling upgrade reasons uh, from past generations is what they're doing with Tellum and how they're moving forward with the uh, on, you know, on-chip integrated. They redesigned the cache, which is something else you focused on. It's a little bit more of a transaction uh, item, but if you're in data, if you're sorry, in mainframe, it's probably a high volume processing re reason that you're in it. And so the updates to the cache uh, apparently are going to give higher performance, um, like about one and a half times uh, capacity. They've got some upgrades in the memory. They call it RAIM, um, which is what they call redundant array independent memory. Um, and that's all about availability, which is a, a key aspect of, of this technology. Um, they've added connect connectivity capabilities, security and encryption uh, abilities, um, what they call pervasive encryption, which is you, you talked about, Pat, which I thought was very interesting and does require a little bit more. And something else I like that I want to dig into a little bit more is, is what they're calling their Z Security and Compliance Center. As companies are under more and more duress to address uh, compliance requirements, um, IBM is basically saying there's a capability in Z16 to simplify and streamline compliance tasks. So. That's going to be an interesting area too as you know who are the customers banks i mean a lot of them are banks and you know so compliance is a huge headache for banks so if ibm simplifying that process i could see a lot of value there as well so yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a boomerang here um i find it ironic that now everybody thinks that enclosed systems with custom silicon is now the rage right and that's exactly what the z has I mean, Z has had a custom processor since 1963, <laughs> right? And its own software ecosystem, right? It's an open ecosystem as it uses uh, Red Hat. But I just find it ironic that, um, you know, it's the cool thing now. Um, what does uh, Andreessen Horowitz say? The current thing, right? I think that's what Musk said that he supports. Okay. No, yeah. I really <laughs> Oh, there's t-shirts now. I the current, current thing. thing. So anyways, um, I, I find it great. It's good to see uh, the Z team uh, kind of basking in the glory. They they do deserve it. I mean, people have tried to kill the Z for 50 years. <laughs> Sorry, kill the mainframe for 50 years. And consumption's going up. So You should write an article with some analysis that says the mainframe is dead. And then yes. do something ironical. Like yeah, long yeah. live the mainframe. I don't I, know. You know. That'd be a great idea. That's right. a great title. It's probably going to get, I, I don't know. There's probably 30,000 people in the world that care about mainframes. 
of the billion. So you'll probably get all 30,000 of them to read it. So, you got but it, it. Is a, it is a, it is a great, uh, it is a, a really great move. It's going to be a big one over the next couple of quarters for IBM. And we'll have to watch how that plays out both on their financials and in terms of winning customer loyalty 